Hey guys, my name is Caitlin and I am the creator of Her Atlas. I am your one-way ticket to Japan. Today I am finally making, uploading, sharing my Japanese house tour. I've been asked about this so many times and after doing some TikTok videos about like things in my Japanese home that just make sense, I guess no time better than the present. So I've cleaned my house and organized things that I've been deeply neglecting all for this video. Please give it a like just for the effort I put into cleaning it. By the time you're watching this video, there are two situations that could be happening. One, I am about to upload more videos about my appliances in the house, further explaining some of the tech things, um, or I have already uploaded those videos. So if you like this video and you want to learn more about my house, make sure you go and check out my other videos on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you hit the bell so you can get notified when I upload more videos. So without further ado, Let's get into my Japanese house tour because I'm like super stoked to show you guys. This is the entrance of our house. Um, we actually have our little bell here, which will ring. My dog is probably going to start barking. And then there's a camera. So if we have guests and we need to see who it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello. This is Gus Gus. I'm sorry to do that to you, sir. If there's a guest, there's a camera, so we can see them. One of the other cool features is this is how we lock and unlock our door. If for some reason I were to lose the fob, this thing pops out and there's a key inside, and then this also pops off so we can lock and unlock the door. Let's go inside. Hello, Gus Gus. How are you? This is what my door looks like from the inside. And just to show you, I feel like it looks like a bank vault. It's kind of dark, I'm sorry. And then we also have a latch. When you first enter our house, you will see a tile floor that we've put carpet down onto and slippers. Traditionally in Japanese homes, you wear slippers in the houses. The floors are really, really soft. Let me see if I can show you. There are lots of scratches on our floor due to the dog. It was also written in our lease that we are not to wear our shoes inside the home. I don't know if that is because we are Westerners or foreigners here or if that's normal. So if you live in Japan, let me know if that's normal to have in your lease or not. This is a built-in shoe case. I guess that's what you want to call it. So this houses all of our shoes. I even keep my socks here because it just makes life a lot easier. So these are my shoes. These are my husband's shoes. So I feel like this is a very Japanese thing to do. A little mudroom space. And we're very lucky that in our mudroom we have a storage area. So my husband keeps his golf clubs there. We always keep a towel right here because our dog is dirty. So we need to clean his feet. We store extra water in here in case of an emergency. Um, it's mainly for like if there's an earthquake or flooding. We try to keep emergency stash of things. We love board games. So we have a ton of board games in here. I don't know if you guys have ever played Ticket to Ride. This is the best board game and so is Catan. This room could use a little more organizing. Oh, fun fact. We're not supposed to hang things on the walls here. I don't know if it, you guys can see, but it's kind of like a textured wallpaper and it's actually soft. So the last tenants had hung stuff in here and tried to cover it. I don't really know if they got in trouble or not. These are what our light switches look like. They're actually really satisfying to push. Um, when they are not on, the lights are actually green. So it's really handy because at night, if it's pitch black in the house, I can always find the lights. And that is our mudroom entryway area. Down the hallway, we have our bathrooms. So we have a toilet in here and the toilets are separate from the actual bathrooms. It does have a bidet. It's one of those really fancy toilets, so it washes your bum. Oh, this is a really good uh, book for the toilet, I guess. It's really cute and really funny. And then 
If you know, you know. This is our shower room, washroom area. We have only this single unit for washing and drying. So it does everything. You can either wash, dry, or wash and dry, but it takes forever. Um, this is actually very normal in other countries other than the United States to only have one unit. So you're very lucky in Japan to even have one of these that does everything. This is our main sink. Hi guys. Um, I love the lighting in here so I can turn it on for beauty mode. And this is a really nice deep sink. This is something you can wash like young kids in. That's why this is here for babies. You can really wash your clothing better if you needed to. Um, the sink, it can do like the spray or the stream. I don't really know what you want to call that, but that's what it is. And then inside there's a lot of storage space. Feels so weird being right here. Hello. This is the only sink in our house for personal use other than the kitchen sink. And I'll show you our bathroom upstairs where the master bathroom is, but this is where we have to come get ready every night and morning. We can't do that in our master bedroom. We've got lots of storage space. This control panel is for our shower and I'm going to do an entire video on just the shower alone because it deserves it. So by the time you're watching this, it's either already uploaded or maybe you'll subscribe so that you can watch out for it when it does go live. But this is to dry the shower. Um, this is for heating the shower. This is for drying clothing. We have a 24 hour circulation, a timer, and then the stop button. Now we take a bath on this side. You shower on this side, and it's a flat space. But there's like fancy control panels and all kinds of things. So again, look for the video just on the shower. I love this part. It has a built-in strain to catch all of the hair. It's amazing. This is our under the staircase storage area. So we keep all of our seasonal decorations here and cleaning supplies. So we've got like our vacuum. And then I also keep laundry detergent in here because it won't fit anywhere in our actual bathroom. Now this is our like big pantry storage area. This is very rare for a Japanese house to have. Now, it may not look very organized to you guys, but this is very organized for us. We keep spare towels, dog treats, tools, appliances, and then this whole area is for our trash, which is very intense. Um, again, there's a video about this on my page or it's going up very soon, so make sure you look out for how recycling in Japan is done. A lot of the doors in our home slide, which I love. It saves space in a lot of the rooms. And I think they're just aesthetically pleasing. They're also like a soft close, so they don't slam. Super nice. Now we're going into the kitchen, which I love. There's going to be a lot going on in here, so this will be a long part of the video. But I wanna start with the fridge. Does your fridge look this cool wherever you are? Is it that skinny? As a left-handed person living in a right-handed world, I very much appreciate that our fridge opens on both sides, which means there's no arguing be between my husband and I. Um, it is so nice. I believe one of the reasons why they do this is because when you buy a fridge in Japan, you move it with you. So no matter where you put the fridge in your kitchen, um, you don't have to switch the handles. And I know fridges, the handles can be switched on all fridges. However, this takes zero effort. There's no, there's no switching. The fridge just is ambidextrous. And if you pull both sides at the same time, nothing happens, unfortunately. So this area of the fridge is where we keep all the fresh produce. So vegetables, fruit, anything that needs to stay crisp. This is a freezer and we have two levels. We have like the shallow pan and then we have like the deep, deep freezer size. There's a little freezer in here where we keep matcha, 
ice cream and tequila. This is where our ice comes from. And it comes with a little scooper, which I just think is so cute and has its own little place. The fridge, just I feel like it's a very standard normal fridge inside, nothing very exciting or special. This is where we put water to make our ice. I am 5'3 for reference and look at how much space there is between me and the top of the cabinet. It's a little ridiculous in my opinion. And then if I need to get something off the top, like how am I supposed to do that? Like this does not make any sense to me. So I need like a ladder and I'm on my tippy tippy toes right now to get anything. And then we actually have a bookshelf over here that we put plates at so that I can grab plates. Otherwise I would not be able to get anything in my own kitchen. Fun fact for Japan, if you're visiting or traveling, we use the same plugs as American plugs. The only thing is, is the voltage is different. So depending on what type of appliances you're using, like a hairdryer, um, you may need a converter for that, but otherwise it's the same plugs. This is our microwave slash conventional oven thing. It came with our house. This is not normal for a Japanese home, so we don't know if like the last people that lived here left it or not. I've tried using Google Translate, but it doesn't pick up on the font, so it's always a guessing game, you know? That's the fun part about living abroad. We have this appliance shelf, which I find absolutely amazing. You can put your most used appliances here, and you can also keep them plugged in. So you don't have to store them away and they don't have to take up any counter space. It also has a vent right here. So if I'm cooking any toast, it vents out the top and that's the control panel. We also have these built in trash cans. As you guys know, and I talked about a few minutes ago, the recycling here is really intense. We have nine trash cans total in our house. And again, you can watch my video on recycling on my page. This is our sink area. I don't know if this is normal or different where you're from, but I'm from the United States where we have garbage disposals, but in Japan, we do not have garbage disposals. So this is how we take apart our sink to clean it. It's really nasty. I've tried cleaning this. It is completely stained. And then this is actually like a little net and it catches all the food and you throw this away. So as a strainer to catch everything. I'll come back and clean that later. We have a lot of storage, luckily. Dishwasher. It is so cute and so small. We're very lucky to have a dishwasher in our home. It is not very common to have a dishwasher in your Japanese home. And it blends in with everything. It's super small. This is our three panel burner. We have a gas burner, which is really nice. One of my favorite features is that it actually has a rice temperature button. How adorable is that? To turn our burner on. This is a fish cooker. This is our oven. It looks like a microwave from what I am used to. It is so cute. And this again, I'm not completely sure I know how to use it. I just press buttons and it's worked for me so far. The way that it works is you, per you turn it on. You set the temperature and the time, which uh, my camera's not picking up on the coloring, but it says 170 degrees Celsius and then three minutes. So you put it on very much like an oven and you don't have to preheat it. You can put everything in and then it just cooks on time. One of my favorite features is it came with these pans. So you can put the pans in. It also comes with this pan clip, so you don't need, you don't need uh, oven mitts. I can't use my words. You don't need oven mitts. It just comes with this stuff. Like genius. So smart. Now our stove does have upper ventilation, which is really, really nice to have, but our door also offers extra ventilation. Just open it like this. I have ventilation on the top and the bottom so that all the smells can kind of get out of the house faster. And it also has a screen, so no bugs. 
This door leads to our outside area. Don't mind that plant that I murdered. I killed him. And we have over here our trash can specifically for our dog, which I'm sure you can guess what that's for. This is where my neighbor Amy lives. If you follow me on Instagram or watch my TikTok videos, you've met her. She's lovely. Under here, we have our Japanese floor storage, which is basically like a cooler. So you keep dry goods in here, things that last a long time, rice, flour, you can keep beer. We keep unopened sauces. And since it's below the house, it does stay cool. So you can hear it like a cooler. It does have like a little drainage right there. So I guess you could put ice in it, but I would not. I dropped a vacuum here and it like put a dent in the floor. We told our realtor about it and she seemed to not really worry so much about it. So that's fine. I get asked all the time if Gus scratches the floor. He scratches the hell out of the floor. So um, we have carpets everywhere. You'll notice an extra amount of carpets in our house. It's because of him. This control panel is for the shower like I showed you guys before. This is like the camera for the outside. So if somebody were to call in, we can use that. And then this is our living space area, living room, dining room combined. This is air conditioning, heating, and dehumidifying because it gets real hot here. This is how we control the panel. So it's really hot in here right now, so I'm gonna turn the air on. This knob will dim and brighten our living room lights. Okay, let's go upstairs. You ready? Now our stairs, I don't know if it's hard to see or not, but they're extremely steep and narrow. This is normal in a Japanese home because it's space saving. I have fallen down these stairs so many times. It's not a cute look. When you first get upstairs, we have a guest bedroom. This is all of our old master furniture. Lots of things we've had for a very long time. My husband's a really big nerd. He loves to read. I don't know if any of you guys like Lord of the Rings, JK Rowling. Those are some of his favorite things. Oh, he's really into these books right now too. So I don't know if any of you guys are into these. These flowers, these are the first flowers my husband ever gave me and I dried them and I've kept them. So these are the dried flowers he gave me when we were dating. Guest bedroom, closets here, where we mainly keep all of our traveling suitcases and all of our winter coats. The guest bedroom has their own air conditioning unit. We don't have central air in our house. They also come with their own lights, so we can switch the lights in the house. I can make it cooler tone or back to a warmer tone. I can also turn it off and it's like a slow little thing. This is my favorite room. <laughs> It's so cute. I got this carpet from Urban Outfitters. I'll have some of the, my house things linked below if you guys are interested. I call it my jungle bathroom. And I am from North Carolina, which is why that's there. Some of my friends gave me that. And then of course the sliding doors. We will go into my office. This is kind of my setup. I wish it was like cozy garden here, but again, we can't really hang stuff on the walls. I have to do a try on for that stuff in a bit. Hello. And my husband keeps all of his clothes in the office area. Not because our closet doesn't have enough room, but he goes to work earlier than I do. So he gets up and then he can come in here and get ready. And it kind of just gives him his own space. And more of these. This is our master bedroom. 
We actually have amazing natural light that comes in, but on camera, it was washing everything out. We got almost all of our furniture here in Japan at a store called Nitori, except for that. That's from Ikea. And then, of course, a cute, cute dog. So this is how we have our master bedroom set up. This is my dog's sleep toy named Fred the shark. He's a cutie. I'm gonna show you guys what our view looks like. There's a train that goes by right here. So if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you would know the train goes by and we have double paned windows. So we don't really hear it at all. We also have these upstairs and downstairs so that we can hang our clothes to dry on really hot and nice days. This is one of my favorite gifts my mother-in-law got us. You can actually put uh, plants on the inside. I'll link it below. It's from a local artist in Colorado. We love the mountains and I think it's just so pretty. This is the master closet. I did clean it up for you guys so that like when you stand here, you can't tell that it's actually kind of messy on the inside. This is where all my clothes are. We have extra bedding in here, decorations, all the things that we need. And then this thing does not really make sense to us. This is a shower upstairs. It's our master shower. And as you can see, we don't have enough space to open it, but we like this chair. It's kind of, you know, like the trash chair in your room where you just throw stuff on it and it kind of like collects things. That's what this is. I don't really have it decorated the way I want it to because I don't really know what to do with it, but it's just like a little room. And as you remember, we don't have a sink upstairs, so we can shower in here at night just to like rinse off. But to brush our teeth, we have to go downstairs anyway. So it's just another shower and it has its own ventilation. It's really small. It doesn't really fit a huge person in it, as you can tell. Like if I stand in here, imagine my husband. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I think we got through everything. How are, how's everybody feeling? Did you find it interesting at all? Did this bore you? I don't know. Um, Thank you for joining my house tour, my modern Western style Japanese house. Um, not every house in Japan is going to look like this. This is a very unique style home and I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of it. Um, I don't know, like what? where do you live? Is it the same? Is it different? Did you find anything to make more sense? I find that some of the appliances in our home are just like, duh, like why didn't I think of that? Um, but then there's a few like nits and gadgets that I just don't understand either, like the really soft floors that my dog is scratching up. So anyway, make sure you've subscribed to my YouTube channel and hit the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. I would love to hear from you guys what, what other types of videos you wanna see and look out for my other videos further explaining my bathroom because it's just fast. It, that's a whole situation within itself. Um, I'll see you guys on Instagram and TikTok at Her Atlas and don't forget to check out my website, HerAtlas.com for itineraries, travel guides, travel tips, all of the fun things. So. I think that's it. I think I can wrap this up now. So, jamatane. I will see you guys later. Thanks for being here.